Superior oblique myokinia is another form of inocular saccadic intrusion. Watch the right eye. What we'll be seeing are occasional intorting movements with very slight superimposed vertical deviations of that right eye. They're intermittent, and what the patient experiences is diplopia. If you focus your attention on the stroma of the iris, it might be easier to see the intortional movements of the right eye. They're not continuous, and the patient's symptoms are in conjunction with the movements. This is a benign disorder in terms that it doesn't represent pathology, but can be quite disabling to the patient. They may experience episodes of diplopia off and on throughout the day. Here's another example. Focus your attention again on the stroma of the iris. The intortional movements in the left eye in this case seem to be more prominent than the last example. You can also get a sense that there's some downward vertical deviation of the eye during the movements as well. Sometimes they can be elicited more easily by having the patient gaze in the direction of action of the superior oblique muscle and then back to forward gaze. There you can see some torsional movements.